Today I'm going to show you how I crisscross the elastic on my point shoes. This is a great option for narrow feet and torquing shanks. Be careful, some of the tools I use are a little dangerous. If you're young, ask an adult to help you. Here's what you'll need. The point shoes you're going to sew, I just have an old shoe to show you with. Your favorite point shoe ribbon, this is just the basic kind. Two pieces of elastic for each shoe. Some safety pins. A large eyed needle and some thread to sew with. I like dental floss. A lighter to burn the ends of your ribbon and elastic and some sewing scissors. And I forgot to say you will also need a pencil. The first step is to cut the elastic to the length you need, then burn the ends using the lighter. This will make sure they don't unravel once you've sewn them onto your shoe. This makes it less likely for the ends of the elastic to pop off while you're dancing. Next, put on the point shoe. You don't have to wear your toe pads for this. You're not going to be going on point. Then take a pencil and measure the width of one thumb away from the heel seam at the back of the shoe. Make a small mark on the binding of the shoe using the pencil. Do the same thing on the other side of the shoe. I know it's difficult to see, but here are the marks I made with the pencil. They're about half an inch away from the heel seam. Next, you're going to pin the elastic onto the shoe where you're going to sew it. Take one piece of elastic and position one of the ends right next to the mark you made on the binding of the shoe. I like to put my elastic on the outside because the ends can feel scratchy. Next, take a safety pin and stick it through the elastic and through the fabric of the shoe. Be careful not to poke yourself. Close the safety pin, and that piece is pinned on. Repeat the process with the other piece of elastic on the other side of the shoe. Before you pin the other ends of the elastic, put the shoe on your foot to make sure you know where to put them. I like to put mine right in front of the waist seam and pin the elastic right on the outside of my shoe like I did with the other end. I hold it in place carefully with one hand, then take another safety pin and use that to pin that piece of elastic into place. I have to be very, very, very careful not to poke my foot while it's in the shoe. If you need to have someone else help you do that, you don't want to hurt yourself. Once the elastic is pinned on, go ahead and close the safety pin. Then do the same thing with the other end of the elastic on the other side of the shoe. Here's what the shoe should look like once the elastic is all pinned on. You should have the elastic pinned on in four places. Now we'll get ready to sew. First, take your needle and your thread. I'm using dental floss. Make sure your piece of thread is long enough. I like to have enough so that I can sew all the pieces of elastic on without having to change to a new piece of thread. Thread your needle. to do just a single thread. I don't like to double it over. And tie a knot at the end. A double knot will make sure the knot won't slip through the fabric.
Now you're ready to sew. Start with any of the ends of elastic on the outside of your shoe. I like to push the needle through the shoe from the inside to the outside so the knot is on the inside of the shoe. I take my needle and thread and I make large tight stitches in a square shape all the way around the piece of elastic where it's on the outside of the shoe. I sew more for function than neatness because the way my stitches look won't be visible to anyone but me. I usually go around the square two times to make sure that the stitches are tight enough and there are enough of them to hold the elastic on even when I'm dancing hard. Take your time and get the stitching right. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't get too bored. Now I'm ready to tie a knot on the inside of the shoe. I stick my needle through the fabric and put the thread over the needle, then pull. I do this two or three times to make sure the knot is secure. Then I clip the end with my sewing scissors and that piece is done. I tie a new knot in the end of the thread so I can move on to the next piece of elastic. Use this method to sew all four elastics into place. I'm not going to do that since this is just an old shoe, but you get the gist of what you need to do. Once you finish sewing a piece, you can go ahead and take out the safety pin. I've only sewed the back two pieces, so those are the safety pins I'm going to take out. Now we'll get ready to sew the ribbons. First, you should cut each piece of ribbon so it's about two feet long. You can always trim it down later. Next, I fold the end of one of the ends of the ribbon into a little rectangle so that it's folded over and it won't unravel once it's sewn in. I poke the little folded rectangle with one end of a safety pin. Then I attach it to the inside of my shoe right behind the waist seam. I'll show it to you a little closer in a minute. I poke the safety pin all the way through the satin of the shoe then close it. See the ribbon is between the two elastics, right behind the waist seam and very close to the front elastic. Then I do the same thing with the other ribbon. A little rectangle fold, then add a safety pin, and pin it right behind the waist seam of the shoe. So there's a nice close look at where the ribbon should be in relation to the elastic. Prepare your needle and thread to sew again so you can sew on the ribbons. 
Make sure the knot in the end of your thread is thick enough that it won't pull through the satin of the shoe or the satin of the ribbon. Now I'm going to use the same method as I use with the elastic to sew on the ribbon. I make a rectangle shape around the end of the ribbon where it's attached to the shoe. I follow the edge of the folded part I made earlier to make sure I sew it in the right place. I should have added earlier that if you're using a shoe with a drawstring and you like to pull the drawstring, make sure you don't accidentally sew on top of the drawstring. It's okay to catch the casing, just avoid the drawstring. If you've pulled out your drawstring or have a shoe without a drawstring, don't even worry about it. Now I'm ready to tie the knot on the outside of the shoe. I use the same method as earlier, making a loop with the thread and pulling the needle through it. Then I use my scissors and cut the thread. I can take out the safety pin now, I don't need it anymore. And that's a close-up of how the ribbon looks sewn into the inside of the shoe. Use the same method to sew on the other ribbon. I think you've got it by now, so I don't need to demonstrate. After you've finished sewing on the ribbon, use the lighter to burn the loose ends so that they don't start to fray and unravel. Just hold it in the flame for a couple seconds. I'm going to speed it up so you get the gist. And there you have it. Your shoe is all sewn. Visit my blog at thedanceworkguru.blogspot.com.